Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I uh, wanted to give you my opinion on the Q-Tech Synergy carbon fiber shaft. Um, I just got, this is the box that came in. I got it a couple weeks back, so I've been messing with it for the last couple weeks. And um, just wanna show you guys real quick what comes in the box. It's padding. Uh, if you see my other video on the Q-Tech breach, it comes with, those, with the wipes. Comes with a little instruction manual. And then here's the shaft. It comes with a sniper tip. I'm not a big fan of sniper, but these last couple weeks I've actually been impressed with sniper. I used to use sniper over 10 years ago, and halfway through the lifespan, it used to uh, miscue on me, so I had changed. Um, but like I said, for the first two weeks, this, it has been a really good tip. Um, it actually comes with the end cap right here, and um, that's all that pretty much comes with the box. Um, I got the 11.8-millimeter uh, shaft. I know it comes in a 12. Um, I've been shooting with a Predator Z and a Predator Z2 for 15 years. I mean, before that, I was shooting with the OB and OB2. Um, I like the thinner shaft, so I've been researching. I've shot with a with a Predator Revo. I shot with the BQ. Um, I shot a couple others, and um, I also tried out the um, Q-Tech 12.5 millimeter shaft as well. They all shoot great. Um, I think it's a personal preference, honestly, on which one you pick. My personal opinion is if you can go to a bigger shop, a big one, and they allow you to try different brands out, try them out. Take your take your stick, explain what you know, you're know you thinking about buying a carbon fiber shaft, and um, some places will allow you to, to put the different shafts. Um, I was impressed with the Revo. I was impressed with the BQ. Um, then I was impressed with the uh, Q-Tech, 12.5 and uh, actually to my surprise I was actually more surprised that I liked the 12.5 Q-Tech over the 11.8 it just felt more solid of a hit um, but like I said I'm used to the thinner shaft so that's why I decided to go with 11.8 and after the after these two weeks I kind of got adjusted to it and uh, I'm very satisfied with choosing the 11.8 over the 12.5 um, it's a great stick um, one thing that some people on YouTube videos did show um, if you do notice right here on the tip, the Revo and the BQ actually have, this right here is black. Um, they said, according to Shane Van Boeing, that his input was to make this white to help with um, aiming. And um, I got to kind of agree with that because with the, with the Revo and the um, BQ, it's black. So you can see your shaft, but this kind of just sticks out, you know, like an arrow. And um, it does make it easier for aiming. So that is one cool thing that I did like about it. Okay, um, messing with it for these last two weeks. Uh, it does take English very well. It takes reverse English very well. Um, draws very well. Uh, follows very well. Um, all in all, it does exactly what I want. Um, like I said, it, you, know, it, you could tell the improvement over the wooden shaft. In my opinion, it's just a stiffer hit. Um, I know, I know the wood shaft, it kind of vibrates a little bit, you know, when you kind of put some some type of Englishes on it. It's not very much, but you can feel a little bit. Um, this one, you can feel less. Uh, like I said, it just feels like a solid hit. Um, coming from wood shaft and playing with the Z and Z2 and the OB and OB2 for 15 years, 10, 15 years. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm glad I made the choice. I'm glad I made the decision to uh, move to the carbon fiber. It's just, I'm very impressed with it. I mean, you know, there's... No complaints I can have about it. If you guys don't know, guys, um, one thing about the um, Q-Tech shaft is the 11.8, the taper actually stays straight. It says for like nine and a half inches, almost 10 inches. If you get the 12.5 shaft, they say it actually goes up to 15 inches. Um, messing around with it, I really can't tell that the taper starts cooling off after the, after the nine inches. I can't really tell until about 15 inches down the shaft. Um, it feels almost exactly the same and even when it does taper thicker like I said, you know up to 15 inches and it feels the same and then you can kind of notice that it is getting thicker um, I'm not sure but I think they said the predator uh, Kind of has the cone shape um, I didn't feel much difference on that one either. It felt just like a regular shaft um, But that is one cool thing that I did like about the Q-Tech and like I said the uh, 12 5 millimeter shaft it goes up 15 inches and the 11 8 does go 9 but like I said, for the first 15 inches on the 11.8, I couldn't tell any difference. But all in all, guys, like I said, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, give me your opinion. Give me um, what you, your thoughts about it. You know, 
whether you like it, you hate it, you're thinking about it, you got any questions about it, any opinions, if you like the Revo over it, why? If you like the BQ over it, why? If you like one of the other carbon fiber shafts over it, why? Um, if you like the 12.5 instead of the 11.8, you know, tell me why. You know, like I said, you know, I'm interested. Um, but I don't know. I hope you like this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what I can do for the next one.